everybody, welcome to another edition of Innovative Hobby Supply Time. My name is Mike, I'm your host for today, and I've got another great scale model kit that I know you're going to enjoy. The BK6447 164 scale Leroy's Gas Station model kit is the perfect addition to any model diorama, slot car track, or train layout. It comes complete with five sheets for your building and a plethora of accessories and added details, one bay of landscape moss, two ultra signposts, one straw for the store's sign, black cord for the gas pumps, and three model figures. You can find all of this model kit's dimensions in the comments below or at InnovativeHobbySupply.com. Alrighty, today we are going to be using the standard equipment for this type of model, a glue gun, scotch or invisible tape, a hobby or exacto knife, a metal ruler, a pair of wire cutters, a pair of scissors, washable markers for when you want to touch up all of your pieces, and of course, a cutting mat. Okay, the first thing that we are gonna do is unpack all of our materials and set aside any of the accessories for later. There are five sheets to this model, so let's get started by cutting out our materials. Okay, the first thing that we are gonna do is grab our trusty pair of scissors and our first sheet. And we're gonna go ahead and make smooth, long cuts along all of our edges. Reasons we do this is better control. And it helps you make sure that you don't make any mistakes. You know, why do we say we speed things up just a little bit? Now that's more like it. Okay, now that all of our materials have been cut out, it's time to score what needs to be scored, touch up all of our pieces with our washable markers, and once that's completed, it'll be time to assemble our gas station. Okay, there is some scoring that needs to be done with this model. We'll start over here with the Dormier, and you can score down the middle, and then these glue tabs on the actual roof across the center line here for all of these uh, gas pumps you're going to want to score down all of the white lines for both of those this roof strip right down the center any of these glue tabs you need to score down the white line and then what is going to become our posts you're going to want to score all three of these white lines and then the two tabs, as well as this glue tab right here. Uh, so I'm gonna just do one really quick, just to kind of show you what it looks like, and then I will leave you to finish up the rest. Just like that. So go ahead and finish up all the rest of the pieces and it'll be time to touch everything up with our washable markers. All right, now that our pieces have been scored, it's time to move on to touching everything up with our washable markers. So I want you to grab the sheet that you have right here. Go ahead and grab the corresponding color. And then what you want to do is take the side of it and run it along all of your edges and even your score lines. We do this in order to get rid of all of that unsightly white and it gives your model a much more authentic and better look to it. All right, there you are. So go ahead and do that process with all of your pieces and its corresponding colors. And then we'll be ready to assemble our gas station. All 
Okay, so the first thing that we need to do now that our pieces have all been touched up with our markers is put together our building. So you wanna take the front and make sure that it lines up perfectly with this brown box. You can go ahead and use tape to hold it in place if you need to. You do the same with the back and then the two sides. Make sure you use these glue tabs and again, you can use tape if you want to hold them together. Just go ahead and glue them like that. And then once that is done, it'll be time to put on our roofs. And there we are. Okay, the first thing that we are gonna do is put together our pump columns. Now you're gonna to want to glue down this edge and then glue the two, the two ends together. And then they're gonna go right in these small little gray boxes. All right, now that our posts have been put on, it's time to go ahead and throw on our main roof. You're just gonna wanna set that down in there and then go ahead and glue that down. And there we have the start of it. And now we just need to complete the gas pump area. So for this area, we're gonna to wanna to take this gas pump ceiling and that is going to go right here. But first we wanna take this front, make sure that it's centered and then go ahead and glue that right onto the front edge. All right, so now we're gonna to wanna to take our glue and go ahead and put a strip down there and attach it to our building. And then we can go ahead and put some glue there and, and secure that onto our posts. All 
And now all that's left is to take this sheet. Now the arrows go towards the roof. And you just go ahead and glue that down. And there we have it. Now it's just time to go ahead and make ourselves some pumps. Okay, now that our building has been completed, it's time to go ahead and put on all of our accessories. All right, so there is a little bit of prep work that needs to be done before we can go ahead and throw everything on our model. First with the gas pumps, you're gonna wanna glow ahead and glue everything together so it makes a box. Then you're going to take these little toppers and glue them back to back. And then they go on top of our gas pumps. Then you're going to want to take this cord, your scissors, and cut it in half as that is then going to be glued not only to our pump but also the nozzle. Gives your pump a much more authentic look to it. This straw is for your Leroy service sign. You don't need the full length of it, so you're only going to want, you know, maybe three, four inches of it. Just going to take your scissors there and go ahead and cut that off. When you're ready to do your sign, you're going to take this band, loop it over until these notches line up with the other ones and then you can go ahead and glue that and then your Leroy sign goes front and back over that and then you can go ahead and glue the post. Once all of that is completed and on your model you can go ahead and finish up with your landscaping and then throw in some customers.
The BK6447 Leroy's Gas Station Scale Model Kit is both fun and easy for any hobbyist to put together, regardless of their experience level. The two authentic looking gas pumps complete with nozzle and hose, plus the detail on the garage door that make you think you're actually looking inside a repair shop, make this model a must have. You can find this model, as well as any of the other amazing photo reel scale model kits at InnovativeHobbySupply.com. And that concludes another edition of Innovative Hobby Supply Time. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I can't wait to see you back here next time.